What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And shout out to my man, Jonathan Majors. Because everybody tried to take my man, Jonathan Majors, down. He got dropped from damn near all his movies. The only movie he didn't get dropped from, it seems, is the Marvel Universe. And that's probably because they dropped James Gunn over tweets he put out a decade ago. And then he went over to DC, gave them a hit, and now he's running DC. And he set their whole damn universe back, taking forever to make Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So after that debacle, where they ultimately, everyone got mad at them for letting James Gunn go, and they decided to bring James Gunn back, they probably like, well, we ain't about to fire Jonathan Majors. We, we not about to have the black people mad at us. So they held on to him. But he lost numerous movie roles and endorsement deals before ever being found guilty over this snow bunny ass cracker and her lying ass. I never believe, listen. Innocent until proven guilty is where I always stand on stuff, all right? I'm not persecuting anybody who hasn't been found guilty of anything. And this whole believe all women culture, despite the fact that there's numerous cases that women lie their ass off, especially on men, is crazy to me. How are you taking money from a man in real time for something he hasn't been convicted of? You don't even know if he did. It's insane. But meanwhile, the Zest King... Ezra Miller over there in the damn flash with the worst CGI in movie history doing that goofy ass zesty run. Who the hell runs like that? He got to stay in his movie role. He got to stay in his movie role. Nobody kicked him out of his movie role. But my man Jonathan Majors got kicked out of damn near every movie role he has. This is the BS. <laughs> you a black man is always 19 times harder for you. A man was convicted of nothing. Got all his movie roles snatched. A man who pleaded guilty. Ezra Miller pleaded guilty to choke slamming a woman. <laughs> all right? He was um, grooming kids, uh, robbing houses. He pled guilty to most of this stuff. And they let his movie come out. Now more facts have come out in this Jonathan Majors case. And they're coming to the realization that, oh, his wife... I mean, not his wife, I'm sorry. His ex-girlfriend might have actually abused him. Go figure. Who didn't see that coming? Can we stop pretending women are abusive? Listen, there's going to be a lot of gems dropped in this video, all right? We're celebrating Jonathan Majors because can't you feel a brand new day? I feel like the Wiz. Because Jonathan Majors looks like he's going to defeat white women tears. All right, now listen. When Johnny Depp took out Amber Heard earlier in the year, I was quoted as saying this is one of the only men in history to defeat white women tears. If Jonathan Majors, a black man, could somehow defeat white women tears, we might be on to something, fellas. So this is a very important case to keep following. All right, but we about to drop some real gems because first of all, I want people to stop pretending, and this is the first of the real gems, that women aren't violent. Women are violent as hell. If we're being technical, they're one of the most violent people in the country, especially when it comes to relationships. Now, if you're just going to talk about fighting people and petty crimes, no. But if you're talking about once feelings get involved, women become violent. All right? The police will tell you most of their calls are domestic abuse. Most of their calls are domestic abuse. I've had several officers tell me, which we're going to get further into later, that most of the time, even if it's not a direct domestic dispute, usually when a man is shot, when men are fighting, anything going on with men, it links back to a woman in some way, shape, or form. Kind of like how that 14-year-old kid only had to shoot that guy because his mother wouldn't shut the hell up. Now again, should the guy have hit his mother? Absolutely not. But his mother could have shut up and kept everyone out of that situation. Luckily, the kid didn't go to jail. We got to stop pretending. I know some people watching, oh, that's not true, Alex. Okay, explain to me this. Why is it that 70% of domestic violence incidents are instigated by women? Look it up. 60 to 70% of domestic violence incidences are literally instigated by women. Oh, and y'all know y'all crazy. I posted videos right here several times of women running men over because the man wanted to leave them. Keying up men's cars. Swinging on them. It's all here. The evidence is here. But I'll give you another statistic. You know who the most violent couple in America is? Who has the most domestic violence claims in America? It ain't men and women. It ain't even men and men. 
It's women, women. That's right. Lesbian relationships are the most violent in America. Two girls together, two cats, bumping kitties are the most violent relationships in America. So don't come in here and try and tell me, oh, women don't be abusive. Women don't swing. Yes, they do. If there's no man around, they'll do it to each other. 70% of LG lesbian relationships have some type of domestic violence reported. I know lesbians who will tell you straight up, oh yeah, I fought my girlfriend. So stop the cat. I get it. Y'all don't want to stop the cat because it's in your favor. See, I keep trying to tell you guys this about women. And we love women over here, but I'm just telling the truth. Because this could save lives, especially the gems I'm about to give later in the video. Women are not going to admit any double standard that's in their favor is untrue. So they know that the double standard that men are the abusers and men are the violent ones, they know it's not true. You talk to any woman off camera, behind closed doors, you call them on the phone, you sitting in the house with them, they will tell you that they're crazy, they will tell you that their friends are crazy, and they will tell you that women are violent. They don't even like each other half the time. But if you go on a public platform, like in my comments, Someone's going to be like, that's not true, Alex. Women aren't violent. It's a lie. But they're going to do that because they don't want to lose the benefit of the double standard. This is why I hate simp-ass men who always come in here caping for them because I'm like, they're not going to cape for you. Women are not going to get rid of, and I told you guys this before, they're never going to do anything about the fact that they can hit us and we can't hit them back. They're never going to do anything about the divorce laws until it starts hitting them, overwhelmingly hitting their pockets. Then they'll want to change it. Any double standard they have, they're going to keep. Any double standard you have, they're going to say it's not fair because you idiot ass simps have benevolence that they don't have. They don't give a damn about fair. You dudes better wake up. But anyways, let's get back to the Jonathan Majors case because it's something very important. It's a very important gem I want to give to you guys. That if Jonathan Majors would have knew, he would have never even been in this situation. I learned this gem from life experience. All right? So pay attention, right? So, according to the article, the NYPD is taking seriously Major's claims that his ex injured him in a dispute, not vice versa. London-based Grace Jabari now can be arrested if she returns to the U.S., Insider has learned. Major's remains charged with assault in the career stalling March 25th incident on the side of town corner. First of all, look at this woman. Jonathan, listen, blink twice. If you need help. Because what the hell would you do with that ugly ass cracker in the first place? That girl ugly as hell. You're Jonathan Majors. Why? Why? There's always some ugly chick who don't belong. Who low key knows her spot's going to get taken because she don't belong to be in it. Causing this type of shit. Trying to ruin your life because she's somewhere she don't really deserve to be. And she want to ruin your life so you can stay with her before you ascend and realize she shouldn't be there. Shout out to Megan Good. Holding my man down. All right, now you got something you should have. Megan Good looks good on your arms. That's something you should have. I probably would have went a little younger because Megan Good, even though black don't crack, Megan Good is so up there in age, you probably only got about five, six years left, but that's fine. She's holding you down. That's what's important. That's all that matters, and she looks way better than this beast behemoth over here. But anyways, back to the damn video. In the latest plot twist in the domestic assault case, that has jolted Hollywood, the NYPD now seeks to arrest the ex-girlfriend of Marvel star Jonathan Majors and charge her with assaulting the actor, Insider has learned. Acting on an assault complaint filed last week by Majors and first reported by the Insider, the NYPD issued what is called a probable cause I-card or investigation card for the London-based woman Grace Jabari, according to people with knowledge of the investigation and a copy of the document reviewed by Insider. The electronic document authorizes police to arrest Jabari on suspicion of third degree assault if she returns to the U.S. Mr. Majors has been asking for justice at the victim here and he deserved to have his assailant arrested and brought to court to face the charges against her, said his defense attorney, Pyra Chavazer. Major remains charged with the same level of misdemeanor assault in connection with the dispute at the center of the case, a physical fight between Jabari and Majors that happened just after midnight on March 25th on a China Con corner. Some 11 hours later, Jabari accused Majors of having twisted her arm, broken her right middle finger, and struck her in the head, causing her right ear to bleed as they grappled in the street. Majors was charged with six accounts of assaulting and three accounts of harassing, a movement who had to lurk alongside the star of the set of Ant-Man's and the Wasp. The film debuted his portrayal of supervillain Kane the Conqueror. Majors, who has pleaded not guilty, has repeatedly counted through his lawyer that it was Jabari who assaulted Majors as a struggle that night. Inside, there is chauffeured car on the street to read text she believed 
he had received from another woman. Go figure. What did I just say? Most domestic violence is incident instigated by women. Why? Because they think they're cheating. They always think you're cheating. And they be the main ones cheating. I've showed you the statistics before that 50% of the women have a backup lover. I've showed you guys the statistic before where I said 30% of men are taking care of kids that aren't even theirs and their women never told them. They're always accusing you of cheating because they asses is cheating. And because they got a right to act the fool whenever their feelings is involved and no one holds them accountable for it, including other women, they just go out onto your pick better. But when somebody knock they damn block off, we supposed to come and protect them. But when someone's abusing us, why not your pick better? Man, please. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Just like in Travis Rudolph case. What happened? She had a brother go and spray his crib up. Why? Because she thought he was cheating. Ridiculous. The two things don't even equate. The defense lawyer shared with Majors prosecutors detailed photos and video evidence she believes exonerates Majors according to an April 18th letter to the Manhattan criminal justice system. Last week after Manhattan's district attorney declined to grant the lawyer's request to drop the charges or charge Jabari, Majors took her advice directly going to the police. On that day, he appeared in Manhattan criminal court on Jabari's case against him. Majors walked into the Chinatown precinct and with her evidence, the evidence of his lawyer, the lawyer told Insider Monday, Majors told the police that Jabari scratched his arm and dug her thumbnail into his face, causing his chin to bleed. He gave the investigators timestamp photographs he took of those injuries. Jabari had her own self hours after the street fight and a drunken fall while she was alone at Majors' penthouse. And reviewing that evidence and speaking with Majors, NYPD investigators at the precinct in the nearby precinct that covers Majors', Majors Lower Manhattan penthouse both found probable cause to arrest your body on his assault allegations according to lawyer and law enforcement. Now here's what's very important, all right? Because they're doing a bunch of filibustering in that article to stretch it out. Majors was the one who called the police on her. Someone timestamp this for me because this is one of the most important gems in this video. The best gems come to those who stay to the end. I repeat, the best gems come for those who stay to the end. Majors called the police on her. So by the fault, being the one, he's the one who caught the police, she should have been the one arrested, if anyone was arrested. But because he's a man and there's an unfair bias against men when it comes to domestic violence, despite the fact that I was just giving you plenty of statistics proving it's actually women who are more violent, right? He ended up getting arrested because the cops came, she turned on the white woman tears, they came up with a story about how he hit her and took his ass to jail and charged him with assault. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, you've never heard these stories before. For those of you who've been here for a while, you've heard these stories before. I've told men over and over again, and this is the gem, the most important gem in the video. When you are in a domestic dispute with a woman, once she hits you, once she touches you, you have to leave the scene and then call the police. If you're still there, when the police come, she's going to cry She's going to manipulate. She's going to use the fact that a lot of the time you're larger than her, even though nowadays a lot of these women are larger than the men, but I digress. And she's going to flip the script and you're going to get arrested. Never call the police while you're still in the vicinity of the woman. Get away from her, then call the police. Send the police to go get her. Guys, I told y'all one time about my friend whose baby mother started attacking him. He didn't have a car at the time. This was years ago. So he called me to come pick him up. By the time I got there, he had also called the police. By the time I got there, the police were literally telling him, you need to leave or we're going to arrest you. It was his house. He's like, what? She hit me. She was over there crying, whining, talking about how he cheated, talking about how he does this and that. The simp ass police understand most officers are going to be simps. Most people in the world are simps. They're like, there's no way she could have been abusing you. He's all scratched up, his shirt ripped. Nothing's wrong with her. They told him, listen, if we have to come back here, we're going to arrest you. So we suggest you leave. And then I came up and like, he's coming with me. They said, good. Now, I advised him to leave her then. All right? He didn't listen to me, unfortunately. Another incident happened three years later, same deal. He called the cops. He ended up going to jail for domestic violence. Never abused that girl. That girl's a baby mother of terrorists, if there ever was one. 
Unfortunately, he's one of my only friends who has a baby mother, let alone a baby mother terrorist. I've been in these situations. Listen, I've only had to call the police on a woman two times, two different women, right? Two times in my life. The first time I called the police on a woman for putting her hands on me, I went to my neighbor's house. And I used, called the police from my phone at the neighbor's house. Because I called from the neighbor's house, right? They just figured, they put together, well, he had to have been getting attacked because why did he go to someone else's house? They arrested her. And I actually got lucky and got a non sip cop. I got a cop who was divorced because his wife was abusive. And he was one of the ones who was breaking out a statistic to me. Most of our calls are domestic abuse calls. Domestic violence calls. Most of the time when I'm going out and a man's in any type of fight or any type of shooting or anything like that, it's usually over a woman in some way, shape, or form. So he's talking to me about this. Meanwhile, there was a female cop with him who's taking the girl who I called the cops on to the damn precinct. And guess what she's telling that girl? You shouldn't hang out with him anymore. He must not really care about you. Why would he call the police on you? You can't make this up. The female cop is consoling the abuser, telling the abuser, I must not care about her because why would I call the cops on her? As if I'm supposed to just sit there and be attacked. And then if I would have hit her ass back, like in the situation we just seen with the dude in the um, Cecilia Hood situation, I'd be dead or in jail. They don't care about you. This is what I'm saying. This fairness, this benevolence y'all have, women don't have it. They don't give a damn about you. They only care about themselves. Unless you're taking care of them. If you're not fucking feeding or financing them, they don't give a damn about you. All right? That's the simplest way to put it. The second time I had to call the cops on a woman, we were in close corridors. We were in a car. And she decided she wanted to try an assault. On that time, I got arrested. Because, again, I was in the same vicinity. I figured this out on my own from paying attention to stories from men and looking at real life. Because I was in the same vicinity, she, I watched her do it. She put on the waterworks and made up a whole bunch of stories about what I was saying to her. I was being verbally abusive and bullshit. And they came, took me. I had to sit in there for hours, got out. Of course, all the charges got dropped because I didn't do any damn thing. But it's just the point. Just because she was there, even though I called them, they took me. Fellas, if you're ever in a situation where a woman's putting her hands on you, don't knock her out like the dude did Cecilia Hill Hood, because then you'll get killed. All right? Leave the vicinity. I don't give a damn if you go to your car, a neighbor's house, whoever. Leave the vicinity and call the cops from that vicinity. But still call the cops. I don't give a damn what no one says. Men need to start reporting domestic violence. The fact that we don't report domestic violence is what allows women to tell the lie that they don't do it. They do do it. Most men just don't say anything because they'll get shamed. Just like the cop. He must not really care about you. Or some other dudes, oh, you a punk. You a punk. You gonna call the cops on a woman? They get shamed. We can't complain about verbal abuse or emotional abuse because we get shamed. That woman... Miss Hood was verbally and emotionally abusing that man. That man told you, get your food and leave, and she kept running her mouth. Again, does it justify him punching her? No, he's a punk. He handled that the wrong way. But why does no one see a problem with her refusing to shut up? If a man was antagonizing a woman like that, everyone would be talking about verbal abuse, emotional abuse. That's what I'm telling to tell you guys. We don't get those passes. Same thing with cheating. We all know now women cheat more than men. It's a statistical fact at this point. But you know why the whole world doesn't know it that much? Because men get shamed into not saying anything about it. Why are you crying about that? Be a man. People start laughing at you, calling you a punk, saying you got little meat. All because you getting cheated on. This is all abuse. And women play into that masculinity double standard. Well, she ain't really hurt you. Why you have to call the cops on her? Why are you arguing with a woman anyway? Just let us go off on you. Let us hit you. You complaining about cheating? What did you do wrong? You probably cheated first. All these gaslighting ass manipulative tactics that they use to keep men in a bubble. No hell with that. If you're getting cheated on, say it. I left her because she was a hoe. So the next man can know she's a hoe. If she's abusive, call the cops. Give her ass a record. So the next man knows that she's abusive. When you go through domestic violence, report it. So that these statistics become more known. Stop letting women shame you. From having any dignity and self-respect and make you think you're supposed to just stand there, deal with their verbal assaults, deal with their emotional abuse, deal with their physical abuse because you're a man. You are not a punching bag. You are a human being. 
Let that brief run it back. You are not a punching bag. You are a human being. So Jonathan Majors, it looked like he's going to be clear. Shout out to the brother. I'm happy for him. We might see white women tears go down two times in the last two years. This will be a major come up for men if it happens. But that's my thoughts on that. Guys, again, for the last time, if you're ever in a domestic abuse situation with a woman, get out of the situation first, then call the cops to protect yourself. Never expect the cops to be fair or beloved. Most of them are simps. They're going to automatically take the woman's side. You're fighting an uphill battle. That's the only place Jonathan Majors messed up, is he didn't go anywhere else before he called the cops. But I'm glad the truth is coming out. I hope my man get all his money back. And Hollywood is messed up for letting the prince and fairy, the zest, a.k.a. the flash, still have his movie, but cancel my man Jonathan Majors before he was even found guilty. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.